it's a, it's a slightly new take on a story that some people might know very very well um, but not in any way assuming a prior knowledge of the piece um, because it's very honest storytelling as Mozart in particular lends himself to just keep trusting him and everything is fine. The story of the Magic Flute is mainly built around the idea of this clash of two worlds. So we start off in the world of the Queen of the Night um, and she has a problem, her daughter has been taken from her um, and then she encounters this young man who seems to be full of potential called Tamino and she decides he's the one who's going to be saving her daughter. Um, so he travels to the second world which is the world of Sarastro. I think my favourite thing about the Magic Fleet is that it presents itself as a simple fairy tale, but just the deep characterization that you wouldn't usually associate with, with fairy tale characters. Every time I return to it, it seems somehow new, and that's magical.